Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Roger Angel was an American essayist known for his writing on sports, especially baseball. He was a regular contributor to The New Yorker and was its chief fiction editor for many years. He wrote numerous works of fiction, nonfiction, and criticism, and for many years wrote an annual Christmas poem for The New Yorker. Angel was the son of Catherine Sargent Angel White, the New Yorker's first fiction editor, and the stepson of renowned essayist E. B. A. White, but he was raised for the most part by his father, Ernest Angel, an attorney who became head of the American Civil Liberties Union. He is a seventh-generation descendant of Thomas Angel, the early settler of Providence, Rhode Island. Angel was a 1938 graduate of the Pomfret School and attended Harvard University. He served in the United States Army Air Forces during World War II. Angle's earliest published works were pieces of short fiction and personal narratives. Several of these pieces were collected in The Stone Arbor and Other Stories and A Day in the Life of Roger Angel. In 1948, Angel was employed at Holiday Magazine, a travel magazine that featured literary writers. He first contributed to The New Yorker with a short story titled Three Ladies in the Morning in March 1944. He continued to contribute to The New Yorker until 2020. He first wrote professionally about baseball in 1962, when William Sean, editor of The New Yorker, had him travel to Florida, Florida to write about spring training. His first two baseball collections were The Summer Game and Five Seasons, a baseball companion. Angel has been called the poet laureate of baseball but disliked the term. In a review of Once More Around the Park for the Journal of Sport History, Richard C. Cropo wrote that Gone for Good, Angle's essay on the career of Steve Blass, may be the best piece that anyone has ever written on baseball or any other sport. Another essay of Angel, The Web of the Game, about the epic pitcher's duel between future Major League All-Stars Ron Darling and Frank Viola in the 1981 NCAA baseball tournament, was called perhaps the greatest baseball essay ever penned by ESPN journalist Ryan McGee in 2021. Angel contributed commentary to the Ken Burns series Baseball in 1994. Angel had three children, Callie, Alice, and John Henry. He had Alice and Callie with his first wife Evelyn, and John Henry with Carol. Callie Angel, who was an authority on the films of Andy Warhol, committed suicide on May 5, 2010, in Manhattan, where she worked as a curator at the Whitney Museum of American Art, she was 62. In a 2014 essay, Angel mentioned her death, the oceanic force and mystery of that event, and his struggle to comprehend that a beautiful daughter of mine, my oldest child, had ended her life. Alice Angel lived in Portland, Maine and died from cancer on February 2, 2019, and John Henry Angel lives in Portland, Oregon. His second wife, Carol Rogg Angel, to whom he was married for 48 years, died on April 10, 2012, of metastatic breast cancer at the age of 73. In 2014, he married Margaret Mormon, a writer and teacher, as noted in the Ellsworth American newspaper. On September 19, 2021, Angel turned 101. Angel died of congestive heart failure on May 20, 2022. Let's see some of the awards received by Angel. Angel received a number of awards for his writing, including the George Polk Award for Commentary in 1980 the Kenyan Review Award for Literary Achievement in 2005 along with Umberto Eco, and the inaugural PEN or ESPN Lifetime Achievement Award for Literary Sports Writing in 2011. He was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 2007 and was a longtime ex officio member of the Council of the Authors Guild. He was inducted into the Baseball Reliquary Shrine of the Eternals in 2010. Angel was named the 2014 recipient of the J.E.G. Taylor Spink Award by the Baseball Writers Association of America on December 10, 2013. That's all for today, thanks for watching, see you soon with another video.